Hello, this is Blake Hester with Our Daily Bread CACFP. Today, in this video, we're going to talk about the Educator Portal Update 1.2 that just came out. We're going to go over each of these new features that you all will be able to use on the Educator Portal site um, to make your experience just much smoother. And so we're going to go over each of those and how you can access them and how they'll be used. So the first one we have is the Document Archive. The second one is the self-submit documents, and the third one is the seasonal menus. So let's go ahead and go through these. The first one is the document archive. So to get there, you see here in the top, we have these menu items here. So here, where it says document archive right there, this is where this first feature has been added. So if you go in here, we won't see anything on my end just because I don't have any documents stored in here, but documents that either you submit yourself or documents that are requested that you send in, that any kind of documents that you send in to the portal will be put right here in the archive document folder. And so in here, you can see all your requests, things like that, um, that things that you submitted. So this is kind of like your uh, personal, like online filing cabinet where you can go through and you can access all of your files that you have um, submitted on here. So this is the first feature where you can access that. So let's go back. So now we're on the self-submit documents. So let's go look at the self-submit documents area. So this option is actually right here in the dead center of the screen here where it says submit document. So what you do here is you'll click right here. And so right here you can drag and drop a file. So if you have a file on your computer, you can simply grab that file and simply come in and just drag it on in and let go. And it will submit that file. Uh, so that's one way you can do it or you can click select the file to upload and then pick your file from there You can go show all files and find your file on your computer and, and put it in the computer that way and put in the system this way And then once you do that here where it says message to case manager um, It would be ideal to leave a message explaining what file you are sending in so that way the case manager or whoever's looking at your document knows exactly what it is and what it, where it needs to go. So that will just help everybody all around and keep things very smooth. So this is where you will submit your documents yourself. So this is a great tool to use if you have a document you know it we're going to ask for sometime soon or that you know you need to do. And you can just go ahead and send it ahead of time um, while you're thinking about it. So this is one way to do it. So this is the self-submit feature. And the last feature is the seasonal menu. So let's go ahead and look at that. So up here, where we're at the document archive, we're going to go over to the right here where it says menus. Let's click this. And so let's say we wanted to look at the fall 2022 menu for infants 6 to 11 months. So let's click on this. And so inside of here, as you can see, we can see our menu right here, which is pretty awesome. And so what you can do right here is you can simply print this out or you can download it. And if you download it, it will send it straight to your computer. So right here, you can select download, and then from there, you can go in, and you'll have it on your computer for you to access. And you can open it up and look at it on a full screen or whatever, and do whatever you want with the document. And so this is where you can find all of your seasonal menus for uh, throughout the year. So this is where you can do it right here in menus. And so these are the three new features that we added to the portal. Uh, we're going to be adding more things in the future. Uh, for sure. So if you have any recommendations at all, please let us know. We'd love to hear anything that would make your job easier. Um, and so we can also make our jobs easier and so that we can help you guys get reimbursed the maximum amount that you possibly can. So please let us know. And so if you are an educator that's with us and you don't have a portal yet, uh, please feel free to give us a call or go to our website. On, on our website, at the very top of the page, you should see a button that says Educator Portal. You can click on that, and you can sign up on there and create your account. Um, and so you can do that if you are already a part of our Daily Bread's food program. Um, and so if you're not, and you're not an educator, uh, you would like to be involved in a food program and to, to be able to use these kind of features, then feel free to leave us a message. Uh, give us a call, email us, or whatever whatever source of communication that you like to do, please go ahead and you can do that. Um, probably the best way is just to call us during our business hours. We usually pick up the phone very regularly. And so 
um, you can give us a call and we will be glad to help you and glad to assist you in showing you kind of how the portal works and just showing you around with our daily bread and see if uh, we'd be able to help you. And um, yeah, just let us know and we can do that. All right. So like we said, this is the Educator Portal Update 1.2. And we hope this is going to be helpful to you all. I hope it benefits you guys. Please let us know. And so that is it for today. We'll see you guys later and have a great rest of your day.